Welcome again. In our readings, we are at Luke chapter 23, verses 44 to 49. This is the passage where Jesus dies. Let's start out verse 44. It was about the sixth hour. That is, it says here, time was counted from sunrise. So the sixth hour would be about noon. And darkness came over the whole land until about the ninth, until the ninth hour. And darkness came over the whole land until the ninth hour, which would be about three o'clock. The sun was darkened and the veil of the temple was torn in two. I'm going to stop there for a second. Now, in another uh, teaching, I'm going to go through the, the similarities between the plagues of Egypt and what happened when Jesus died. Because we know that the plagues of Egypt and the death of the firstborn, you know, back in the days of Moses, was really very much a reflection of Jesus dying, okay? The, the, the death of the lamb, you know, the, uh, the sacrifice of the lamb. And here we got the sacrifice of Jesus. So um, you will see that one of the plagues that, that came over the land was the plague of darkness. And here we have darkness coming over the land. Now, again, I'm not going to go into all that detail in this particular teaching, but that's just to kind of put a bug in your ear. We are going to get to that when I go through the, all of the plagues and how that relates to what happened at the cross. So let's read on. Verse 45, the sun was darkened and the veil of the temple was torn in two. Verse 46, Jesus, crying out with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. Verse 47, when the centurion saw what was done, he glorified God, saying, certainly this was a righteous man. All the multitudes that came together to see this, when they saw the things that were done, returned home beating their breasts. Beating their breasts was a sign of repentance, a sign of sorrow. Verse 49, all his acquaintances and the women who followed with him from Galilee stood at a distance watching these things. Wow, what a very, very dramatic scene we got here when Jesus dies. And yes, he did die. You know, we will read in other parts of scripture that uh, the soldiers would come to ensure that the people were dead. They would come and break their, their legs, break their bones, just to make sure the people were dead, especially on the eve of Pesach the eve of Passover. When they got to Jesus, they knew that Jesus was already dead. Okay, these were, these were professional people that were, you know, professional in what they did. Uh, they knew what they were doing. Uh, when somebody was executed, they knew whether they, whether they were dead or not. These, you know, this is what uh, these people did basically for a living. Uh, they made sure that these people who were crucified were dead. So, yes, Jesus actually died. He didn't go into a coma. He wasn't just sleeping. He actually died. It says he breathed his last, which means he died. Okay? So once again, as you go, I always keep in mind the scriptures. I always keep in mind the things of God. Pray. Pray without ceasing, my friend. God will hear and answer your prayer if you pray from a pure heart. May God bless you and show you great and mighty things. Give you revelation beyond all your peers. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Thanks again.